At around 9 this morning, students gathered outside the university's administration building and began their boycott. After a short meeting, the students proceeded into the administration building and barricaded the doors to the registrar and the pro vice chancellor academics officers. The students began the boycott following the reinstatement of the university's registrar, Masi Fuawe, and pro vice chancellor academic, Dr. Samson Laup. The two controversial staff members that the students previously voted against to hold onto the university's office. We see from council text and what council made and this decided about. They made a decision, it was one-sided decision. This is not the first boycott and it won't be the last for this university. This morning's boycott is one in a series of others that stem from alleged mismanagement of the university. Those members of council have been sitting there for so long in the office doing nothing. UNRE has been a hive of dissatisfied students and staff in the last two years. On numerous occasions, the students have staged peaceful protests on the campus and stayed away from classes for several weeks, prompted by allegations of maladministration. One of their demands in the previous boycott was a call made to the government to appoint a permanent vice chancellor. Their actions have prompted the National Executive Council to appoint Professor John Warren in September last year as the permanent vice chancellor for the university. The arrival of Professor Warren was seen by the students as a way forward for the university, but that didn't stop the students from expressing their discontent over decisions made by the council that they consider as degrading to the integrity of this reputable agricultural institution. Upon council decisions on Friday, uh, without notifying us in any form of secular out to the public and to the students or to the notice board or to ask the office of SRC to notify students that the two member of staff has been reinstated. However, they go ahead and allow those staff to come and enter the office, which we, we know that there are legal processes in which we don't want to talk about it. The student leaders say they will continue the boycott until they get a favorable response from the university's council. It is understood a petition will be presented by the students to the Office of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology in the coming days, hoping to revoke the actions of the university's council regarding the reappointment of the two senior staff of the university. Admin Fidelis National MTV News, Kokopo.